The registry of political parties is mandated to manage the affairs of political parties in the country, but over the years, this important office of the government had to perform under tight budget. This afternoon, the head of the registry made a plea to the Prime Minister to look into their plight. Funding was a major problem for us, but that did not stop the registry from conducting its activities. Prime Minister Peter O'Neill in launching the registry's new office assured the registrar to have this addressed. This is a very important office and sometimes uh, we politicians and leaders only bombard this office just before the elections and just after the elections. Prime Minister Peter O'Neill urged the registry to diligently manage the Olympic. He said political parties for too long have been built on personalities. So I think history te teaches us that we should try and depart from even personalities controlling political parties. That parties are driven more by interest groups, people who believe in policies, and that that policy will drive the the enthusiasm within the community about uh, debates that are going to affect the affairs of the country. Deputy Opposition Leader Sam Basil, who was also present to launch the registry's corporate plan, supported the Prime Minister's call. Often members of Parliament and intending candidates value party executives for a short time, especially for endorsements and sponsorship. But as soon as after elections, they are abandoned. And I, I support the Prime Minister's uh, view on that also. But posed a challenge for more recognition from the government towards constitutional offices. He also pushed for an increase in the 2015 budgetary allocation. This is a significant milestone for the registry with the launch of the office, corporate plan and website. Registrar Dr. Alphonse Gelu says all this will help the registry in carrying out its mandated duties. Mickey Cavera, National MTV News.